Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and check out Carl's host. Um, we did end up creating a 16 megabyte bin for the Feather S2. Um, it'll only work on the Feather S2 because it requires 16 megabytes, but it is all of Carl's host um, plus the PS4 trainer. So 505 right up to 9.00 and then the PS4 trainers. But let's go ahead and jump right into the video, guys. I will leave a link in the description. You can go ahead and download it. But uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get logged in here. And once we do get logged in, we'll jump over to our settings. Go into our network. Make sure we do have connect to the internet checked. And then we'll go into set up internet connection and select Wi-Fi. Go ahead and select the easy. Now, if you already have Carl's host set up, then you don't need it to go through this process. It will always be the same, and it should automatically connect. Um, but yeah, once you do that, just go ahead and type in the password, and it's the same as always, 1 to 8. Go ahead and enter 2, and OK. Give it a few moments here just to get connected. There we go, checking network environment, which usually only takes a couple of seconds. Okay, and once it's done, we can go ahead and back out. We don't need to test the internet connection. Um, there's two ways to get in. You can go in through the user guide, or you can go in through the web browser. Now, I do recommend using the web browser for the first time. Just you can go ahead and close, uh, clear everything out, I should say. Delete everything in the frequently used pages. The browser is to clear that as well, just to get rid of all that old information, because you will be getting new information when you use this. So we'll go ahead and clear the website data as well. And then we'll back out completely and just go ahead and launch the browser. It will automatically redirect us. And as you can see, everything does come up. Our 505, right up to 9.00. And then our PS4 trainer uh, is here as well. Um, as for testing, it does require some testing, guys. Um, I'm only able to test the 7.55 and the 9.00. As for the 702 and the 672 and 505, I don't have them and I'm not able to test them so if you can go ahead and just test them out let us know and uh, I'm sure we can get it fixed but yeah let's go ahead and launch 9.00 and a go ahead and select it give it a few moments here it should automatically do everything for us no need to insert the USB as it does that for us this board has uh, pretty much everything that you're gonna need Okay, so we should see the unsupported file system. And then any moment the jailbreak should be complete. There we go, jailbreak is done. So we do have Goal 10 2.2 as well as the Goal 10 2.1.2. Um, you can pick whichever one you want. For the video, I'm going to go ahead with the latest, which is 2.2. Go ahead and select it. Give it a few seconds and it should pop right up. We can go ahead and launch another payload as well, just to show you that uh, they do work. Uh, we'll go ahead and launch Orbis's toolbox. Give it a few seconds, and it should just pop right up. Okay, and there you go. Load it. And I know a lot of people are wondering, well, what about the GTA mods? Are they there too? Because they're quite big. Well, guys, they are all there as well. You can go ahead and play your GTA mods. Everything is included in this here. Um, yeah, this is the way to go. If you're looking for a ESP32 S2 board and you can get your hands on this one, I do recommend getting this board. It just has so much space and uh, we're able to add so much to it. But other than that there, guys, as you can see, Orbis's toolbox is loaded up. If we go into our settings, we can see Goal 10 is there as well. Our bin loader server and our FTP are enabled. But yeah, guys, that's basically it for the video. I just wanted to jump on, show you that there. I will leave a link in the description. You can go ahead and download that. You will need the Feather S2 in order to flash it. Um, but other than that there, if you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that there subscribe button. Really helps out the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.